Let's go, girls. They fight for respect, their careers, and their men. And they do it all with a twang in their voices. Boy, I fished for that one, didn't I? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 female country music stars of all time. Right now, she's probably up singing from a white trash version of Shania karaoke. Number 10, Carrie Underwood. Carrie Underwood shot to stardom on American Idol in 2005, and she's one veteran of that program who definitely deserves the spotlight. Hey, good girl, your head in the clouds. Audiences' love for Underwood's Girl Next Door style is demonstrated by her worldwide sales of over 25 million singles and upwards of 15 million albums. With a Guinness World Record for female with the most number one country hit since 1991, she's an idol around the world, not just in America. Don't even know his last name. Number 9, Taylor Swift. Boyfriends may see red over being fodder for many of her songs, but hey, that's what comes with dating a country music superstar. Taylor Swift hit it big at 16 and has since sold an amazing number of records, 26 million and counting. She's already won a slew of Grammys, including Album of the Year for Fearless. So all you're ever going to be is mean to think that there aren't more awards in her future. Why you gotta be so mean? Number 8, Shania Twain. Singers from the United States tend to dominate country music, but the artist with the best selling country album in history is Canada's own Shania Twain. The best thing about a Her 1997 effort, Come On Over, sold an astounding 40 million copies across the globe, towering in comparison over the 20 million sold of 1995's The Woman in Me. She's not called the queen of country pop for nothing. That don't impress me much. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. Number 7, Kitty Wells. Shania may be the queen of country pop, but the title of queen of country music goes to Kitty Wells. It was God made -tonk Angel. Her 1952 breakthrough, It Wasn't God Who Made Honky Tonk Angels, made Wells the first female country music star and proved a woman could have a successful country career. Her willingness to take risks paved the way for all the other ladies on this list. Number 6, Patsy Cline. If Wells paved the way, then it was Patsy Cline who blazed new trails in country music and demanded respect from the male-dominated industry. Cline's heartfelt vulnerability and impeccable phrasing made classics of Crazy, Sweet Dreams, and I Fall to Pieces. Someone who loved me, loved me too, the way you used to do. The 1963 plane crash that tragically claimed her life at age 30 deprived country music of one of its most charismatic performers. Number 5, Tanya Tucker. Tanya Tucker burst onto the scene at age 13 after scoring a top 10 country hit with Delta Dawn. Delta Dawn, what's that flower you have on? Unlike the character Delta Dawn, Tucker didn't become a faded rose. She blossomed into an adult country music sensation with 10 number one country hits and dozens more that zoomed into the top 10. Our love will last forever if we're strong enough to be. Number four, Tammy Wynette. When Tammy Wynette recorded Stand By Your Man in 1968, she didn't know it would become her signature track, let alone one of the most famous songs in country music history. 
The tune was just one of the 20 country number ones for the artist voted Female Vocalist of the Year three years running by the Country Music Association. My man, understand, he holds me in the palm of his hand and I won't keep it like this all the time. Wynette died in 1998 at age 55 after years of health problems, but left a body of work that continues to inspire. Number 3, Reba McIntyre. When I heard that familiar voice, my heart stopped dead in its tracks. The most successful female country star of the 1980s and 90s, Reba McIntyre is tied with Dolly Parton as the female country artist with the most number ones. Somebody in the next car, somebody on the morning train. Down home, yet sexy and clearly nobody's fool, McIntyre popularized a more contemporary view of women that was typical in country music at the time. What in the world am I gonna do? Number two, Loretta Lynn. When I was born to coal miner's daughter. This coal miner's daughter brought the legitimate but not often discussed concerns of women into country music. She sang about birth control, sexual double standards, the struggles of motherhood, and even tackled the Vietnam War, all on the way to becoming the first lady of country music. I really love my country. Though she was a country music phenomenon starting back in the 1960s, Loretta Lynn proved she was still a powerful force in 2005 when Van Leer Rose won the Grammy for Best Country Album. Number one, Dolly Parton. Just because I'm blonde, don't think I'm dumb, cause this young blonde ain't nobody's fool. With a shape that matches her outsized personality, Dolly Parton is probably the most recognizable figure in country music and one of its true legends. Jolene, 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 Jolene. Parton has been a towering presence in the Nashville scene almost since her 1967 debut album, and it is estimated she has sold more than 170 million albums over her career. Working nine to five, what a way to make it Buoyant, gutsy, charmingly outspoken, and blessed with a one-of-a-kind voice, there's no doubt we will always love you, Dolly. We always love you. Do you agree with our list? Which female country singer is your favorite? Big D. For more entertaining top tens, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. I'm out of here.